to my show. Um, you know, I haven't did a webisode in a while. I've been busy on the, you know, whole gaming, the whole gaming review, review and stuff like that. But yeah, um, you know, I had to, of course, come back to this. I don't want to, you know, leave this out. And I was decided that I was going to start doing, you know, web webisodes for my Vice show on, on today's, Thursdays. And on Sundays, it's going to be, you know, gaming reviews. So just want to keep everything, you know, scheduled, keep it in line. But <clears throat> yeah, so for today's episode, well, episode, <laughs> um, I wanted to discuss more on, on Lady Gaga, which I know this is, you know, I don't like to constantly bring up because I'm tired of hearing about her. But I want to talk about her and her fans one more time because I have had a, had a um, you know, conversation with someone on here about it. It was a it was a good one. It's not something negative like how um, usually people like to, you know, you know, they go crazy once you talk bad about Lady Gaga, you know, blah blah blah, all that stuff. So I'm gonna talk about that and I'm gonna talk about the fans and I'm gonna talk about um certain things that the so called rule that a lot of gays talk about, like when you come out to them, they always think that oh you should do this and that. But before I get to that, let me go with, you know, Lady Gaga first. So yeah, now we had this discussion about her, like how she's basically supposed to be like a god or something. How she, like, declared herself as the 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 gay icon for the gay community, and how you know all of her fans are praising her like she's god, and you know like they would basically die for her. To me, <laughs> yeah, to me, um, like there's only one person, well, only one god there is to praise, and he's up there, um. Why would you, you know, I don't understand why they keep praising this lady for, you know, like, I don't know. To me, she doesn't, like, I heard that she declared herself as a gay icon, so I don't understand how she can put herself in that position. Um, and to me, why would you even, you know, praise somebody like that? To me, how I see it, I don't praise any celebrities. Like, I have, like, um, you know, certain celebrities or music artists that I like, you know, like, you know, but I don't like praise them or like I get obsessed with them like oh if you say something about them I want, I'll get pissed off and go crazy like how many people are with her and how many people are with Jersey Shore and Snooki you know they they overly obsessed with these people and once you say one thing they want to go off on you or they want to destroy friendships that lasted for you know decades or <laughs> three years or ten years whatever and you know they're gonna break up or something over that to me that makes no sense um but yeah, to me, like, I don't praise anybody, the only pre people you should praise, of course, is yourself, your mom, and God. That's how I see it as. Um, to me, while well, don't praise this lady, all because, oh, she is a gay icon, like, you can actually be gay icon yourself, you know, for yourself, and do things, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, basically, that, you know, <clears throat> don't, you know, I mean, you could look up to somebody, but, you know, that's kind of bad that how people are just obsessed with her. Like, okay, you could look up to her, okay, but then again, you're just going overboard and praising this girl like she's a god or something, which she's not. To me, I still find her as weird. I still don't like her. I still dislike the fans because the fans are just too much for me. They're just, like, one thing you say about her, they just go off on you. It's either that or they just constantly talk about her over and over. I hear it on Facebook, on AIM, on day insights, even in person, um, they just constantly talk about her, or they constantly talk about her album, or just born this way, and all this crap, you know, all this stuff annoys me, and I get tired of it, um, to me, they just need to look at it so first, you know, like, of course, praise yourself, love yourself, instead of praising this girl, all because she's, like, supporting you, but to me, not, to me, the game community is not supporting themselves, you know what I mean, like, with me, <clears throat> of course, you know, I praise myself, and, you know, I look up to myself, and I'm actually doing this for myself, I'm not trying to use her as a, you know, like a stepping stone to say that, oh, you know, she supports me, so yeah, let's all praise her because she, you know, believes in me or loves me, you know, all that crap. Like, no, you gotta worry about yourself first, you know, like, praise yourself. Um, so, you know, I don't understand that whole thing. Um, another thing that um, I wanted to say was, um, let me see, damn, I had something else <laughs> on the tip of my tongue that I forgot what it was. Um, no, we'll come back to that. <laughs> anyway, so let's continue further. Um, oh yeah, back to the whole gay, the whole gay thing. You know, when a lot of people come out, and well, 
uh, me and a couple, I mean, like one of my other friends, you know, that when we hang around, well, I don't really have much gay friends because, you know, they're just too wild for me. I'm not really the one to enter the scene, the whole gay scene. But some of the friends that we've met, you know, in the city area and everything like, you know, such areas like that where they usually hang out, um, they would always ask, like, oh, how you're not really gay or you're, you're fake or something like that because you don't do certain things that they do, such as, um, you know, partying or drinking and um, bogan and, you know, listen to Lady Gaga and watching Glee. Like, I didn't know that you need to, you know, there's a rule, basically. I didn't know there was a rule that, you, you know, it's like a whole book or something. You have to read and you have to follow this in order to be gay. Uh, you know, I never understood that. To me, you know, many people are diff different. Well, not really different because a lot of people in the gay community are the same to me. And there's one or two that I've actually found that is different. So, but to me, yeah, all of them that I know, <clears throat> mainly the, the feminine ones, is mainly into those type of stuff. You know, they like Lady Gaga, they like Bogan, they like um, Glee, uh, they like to party, they, the ones that like to drink a lot, get drunk, and the ones that like to look for random guys to like have sex with and stuff like that. And you know, to me, all of that is wrong. Um, the whole Glee and Lady Gaga thing, that's not really wrong. Like, if you want to, that's, you know, that's hobbies or acti like things you like, activities. So, you know, that's all right. But the whole thing with the whole party and all that stuff, um, to me, that's like, of course, bad examples and bad influences and things to that, of course, is not good for you. So it, it's, they're trying to basically enforce you to like do this and that, to say that, oh, you know, you fit in or you're not a part of the, the community unless you do this and that. And that's not true. So just want everyone else to know that, I mean, that's out there, should know this. People that are coming out, they should know that they don't have to do anything like that. You know, you can still be yourself and don't have to do exactly what they all do because everyone else, everyone is different. So I'm basically trying to say, because like with me, okay, I don't like Lady Gaga, so <laughs> I don't like um, Glee, which yeah, is terrible. I don't know. I still don't know what it's about. I haven't even watched it yet, but I heard it's just, Basically, some kind of musical, I don't know, some American Idol, gay version, something like that. I'm not really sure, but it's something like about regards with singing. Um, I never watched it in my life. I don't want to watch it. So yeah, Lady Gaga. Of course, I have listened to some of her songs in the past. I have like maybe one or two songs which I don't like her anymore. So like her, the lyrics and the way how she presents herself to me is a bad example. I don't like how she presents herself. She presents herself as a whore, and. To me, I don't, I, I don't look up to people like that, you know. So that's just me. Um, he has a Vogue, and I never understood that. I hate the the beats or the songs or all the dance. All the stuff is weird to me. It just feels I don't like to be around that kind of stuff. All people who do that, which I don't have any friends that does that. But yeah. Um, and let's go to sports. Well, basically, I don't really know any gay people that play. Well, I don't really know about sports, but with me, I like you know uh, baseball. And uh, wrestling, well, I like to just watch it. But baseball, I, I play it. Um, I, and tennis, I play and and volleyball, and music, I listen to of course, which I have, well, basically posted as some of my um intros for this for my videos, and also that it says on my info page that you know I mainly listen to you know Latin music or and some pop, not really much, but just a little bit, like you know like Michael Jackson, that's about it. But I'm not the type that listens to techno and all that stuff. Only sometimes I'll listen to it, just if it's like a remix to like a artist that I like. That's about it. And only one that I actually like that's in, you know, basically sort of. Well, I'm not really gonna say like anything to do the gays, but Britney Spears, I, I like her. I'm not sure if a lot of people do like her, but I like her music. I like her better than Lady Gaga, so and her album is pretty good. So yeah, so you know everyone's different, and you know all cause I didn't know there was basically some rules that you have to follow and you have to do this and that to basically say that you really like 100% are and that you're not fake or wannabe which makes no sense because everyone is different everyone doesn't have to follow what you do everyone doesn't have to party everyone has to look for every guy they see on the street and have to do with them because oh they look good and you know all that crap that people talk about you know to me that's wrong and to me like I don't know about them which mainly a lot of them are not into this but marriage of course I'm into and you know sex after marriage which a lot of people don't believe in this world no more except for religions so that's how I go by. I go by that rule. And of course, this is New York. So who goes by that? <laughs> Everyone, no one goes by that. 
So everyone, of course, goes with anyone randomly they find, and you know, that's about it. So yeah, it's basically with that. Like that just pisses me off. I hate hearing about that, and that's just one of the things that really, really annoys me. And of course, Lady Gaga and her fans really, really annoy me as well. It's not really her that much. It's just them that they just constantly talk about this girl, or they just constantly talk on the aim, or you know, any kind of social network they have. And I'm just getting tired of hearing about her born this way over and over and over and over. Like I mentioned in my other videos, you know, I get tired of hearing this over and over. But this is my last webisode for now. <laughs> That's gonna be talking about her and her fans. But somewhere in the future, I'll talk about that more. Um, last thing I had to say, I still still can't remember what it is, but. If I do remember, I'll just put that in the info box. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, episode of mine. And um, next Sunday, well, this Sunday coming, uh, I have another game review video up. Uh, I'm not sure what games I'll be reviewing yet, but I'll have that post on my blog page and on Twitter. So, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you all this Sunday or this Thursday. I'm not really sure if you're into video games, much of people that watch these sort of um, videos. So, then I'll see you Thursday. If not, I'll see you Sunday. Alright, so see you later.